and welcome back to OmniFit TV. This is your host Omar speaking, and my God, were Spain horrible last night? Dear Lord, what the hell was that? Possession football, possession football. Keep the ball, roll it around, left, right, center, left, right, center. Don't do any, don't move, do not move. Movement is, is wrong in football. You're not supposed to move into space. You're just supposed to stand there like a freaking statue and receive the ball. After that, you give it to whoever else is standing around like a statue. Lord, help us all. Lord, help us all. Why did I pay for this? Why? That was horrible. That was a game... Of, I've never really been I've been the kind of person to enjoy possession football unless it's played to a T. Because let's be honest, it's not necessarily that easy to play possession football. It's a perfectionist's game. I don't I don't necessarily agree with it, you know? It but it is it is it can be what they call sexy football in, in, in at certain points in time if it's done properly. But what the hell was that? You have free space. All these players. Spain were lined up and attacked in an in attack in a two three five. They had five people up front. The Swedes were parking the bus because that was all they could do. They couldn't play up with a high line. They couldn't necessarily do that because that would allow players to make run, run-ins behind the lines, between the lines, messing up everything. It would allow the Swedes to make runs in between the lines, the, Sp- the Spaniards to make runs in between the lines, crosses to be made, and we nearly saw that. We nearly saw someone get away from that, Spanish, from that Swedish line. I'm messing up everything, seriously. I'm that angry. That was, that was just horrible. They obviously Sweden had no uh, no better option than to play that defensively. They were lined up in a four four two defensively. They t- they were trying to close in, close out as many Spanish players as possible, trying to provide not much width so that they wouldn't have that many options. But at the same time, the Spanish were just static. You don't play a game like that and expect to score. This isn't ping pong. I, I I didn't understand what was going on. Like this, they were brilliant at first. Let me. I'll just give this to Luis Enriquez, man. They were brilliant at first. For 20 minutes, they they were passing the ball and moving better than any other side I'd seen throughout this tournament. And boy, am I angry that I said that because as soon as I did, they gave the ball away twice and invoked a foul. They conceded a foul and then everything went downhill from there. The Swedes could have easily punished them. They could have easily punished them. They had more chances. To, to really just put this game to bed than the Spaniards did because the Spanish just couldn't finish. I have no idea why Morata started up front. I have no idea why I watched this game. Seriously. Morata wasted a sitter. Gerard Moreno was supposed to start. I have no idea why Moreno wasn't on that pitch. That's the only main reason I criticize Enrique at the moment. I have never seen such static play in my life. They always do this. The Spanish always do this. Look at look at the Russia game. Look at the game against Russia in 2018. Look at why they lost. That's why they lost. They haven't learned anything, it seems. I don't care how well you do in qualifiers. As soon as the major tournament kicks off, as soon as that whistle blows, you're supposed to play. That wasn't a game of football. I don't even know what that was. Cricket, hockey, basketball. At least those sports would have been much more entertaining had I watched. I would have watched a game of golf than, than to have watched that. What the, I just don't understand it. I don't understand what it means to just move the ball around. If you're into that kind of thing, into that kind of thing, if you're, if you believe in the system that you're implementing to a point where you know it's the way to play football, this is the best way to play football. You should at least understand how to communicate the fact that there should be movement beyond the passing. It's simple. It's, I don't know. I don't, I don't know who did this. I don't know why, why they did this. I'm, I'm not sure many fans even continued the game. I mean, I wish I hadn't. If I weren't watching with a friend, I would have stopped, I would have stopped 30 minutes or 40 minutes in. I wouldn't have had to watch the entire 95 minutes. As soon as that game ended, I got up and turned the thing off. That was worse than England's game against Croatia. And England played like a bunch of constipated ducks on the pitch. My God. They're not going to go far if they play like this. They're not going to go far. That's not a way to play. I don't know if it was Enrique who failed to motivate these players or if it was the players who just thought, okay, I'm going to stand here 
for the remainder of the game. I'm going to wait for the ball to get to me. After it gets to me, I'm just going to give it to someone else. And I'm not going to move. I'm going to walk around. But I'm just going to maintain the, the bubble. That I, I'm not going to break through the bubble that I am in. I'm going to stay in here. I'm going to stay here. But you're supposed to move. So no, I'm not going to. But how about no? That, 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 that's it. Like, they were all about, each one of them was, a, was an elephant. They were all elephants. You look, you see how slow elephants walk? That's what the Spanish players were yesterday. A bunch of elephants. Ten elephants on the pitch. And what do you do against ten elephants? You pray. You just stand there, huddle up and pray that they don't step on you. If this was a friendly, I'd say sure. Okay, that what what we saw last night was a glorified friendly. I wish the Swedes had put the game to bed. I genuinely do because when you have the ball for that long, they had seventy three percent possession at a point in time in the game. When you have the ball for that long, you take it for granted. You take the fact that you have it for granted and you stop doing anything with it. That is not a way to play football. That's a way to shoot it at the wall in the parking lot when you're five years old. You're giving it to the wall, the wall gives it back to you. You give it to the wall, the wall gives it back to you. That was what I was watching last night. I'm going to stop this rant because I just... I had to say something about this game. Because I actually made this... Made, like, I reacted in a short video on our Instagram feed. That's how, that's how annoyed I was. You can be pragmatic and still be exciting. And you can play possession football and still be exciting. So where's the where's the actual call to action? I'm going to end it here. Obviously there's something missing in the in the Spanish camp. I don't know what it is. If you enjoyed me ranting about for the past how long has it been? 7 minutes. It's been close to eight minutes. If you've enjoyed me ranting about and agree with me, please, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. If you disagree with everything I've had to say, let there be discourse in the comments section below. Uh, the links to our social media accounts are in the description below. And I will see you next time, those who blows. God, that game was going to be the end of me. Cheers, everyone. Thank you all for watching.